Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. TV stations OK Democrat candidates horribly explicit anti-NRA ad. A Democrat candidate for Congress has decided to smear gun owners with vulgar language, and incredibly, the federal government is essentially forcing TV stations to air it. According to KRQE News in New Mexico, Pat Davis has decided that he's embracing full-on controversy in his bid to win the upcoming primary, and doesn't seem to care how many people he insults in the process. A 15-second campaign ad submitted by Davis, who is running for U.S. Congress in the 1st Congressional District, begins with crass swearing. Fuck the NRA, he forcefully declares in the video. Their pro-gun policies have resulted in dead children, dead mothers and dead fathers, the Democrat continues in his ad. I'm Pat Davis and I approve this message because if Congress won't change our gun laws, we need to change Congress. Yes, it's the tired and false blame law-abiding gun owners for crime strategy that has been wheeled out by so many on the left lately. Unsurprisingly, the candidate didn't seem interested in explaining why there were so many dead children in places with the most strict gun control in America, like Chicago and New York. Setting aside the empty argument, however, there is still the issue of crassness. Vulgar language, including the F-word, is typically off-limits for over-the-air broadcasts, especially during daytime hours. As the FCC's own website explains, profane language includes those words that are so highly offensive that their mere utterance in the context presented may, in legal terms, amount to a nuisance. Shockingly, government regulations appear to force TV stations to play the profane ad, even though it would otherwise run afoul of the FCC's rules. KRQE a CBS television affiliate, has been paid to run the ad and says it is legally required to do so. We received a request for airtime from a legitimate federal candidate for office, and according to federal election rules we are required to give him the same access as his opponents, said KRQE General Manager Bill Anderson. This station, by law, is not permitted to censor or in any way edit this commercial, he continued. However, the TV station is planning on running a language warning and essentially disowning the content of the campaign ad. What we can control however, is the 15 seconds of airtime preceding it, which we will use to warn the viewer of a possible offense, disclaim our own views, and cite the federal laws imposed on candidates and TV stations," Anderson explained. It wasn't that long ago that Democrats were telling people, when they go low, we go high. That didn't last very long. Instead. Desperate candidates are now using tragedies to attack millions of lawful gun owners, while figures like David Hogg declare that all NRA members have blood on their faces and condone murder. Whether or not these vulgar and hate-filled tactics actually work in elections will soon be seen. Regardless, Americans have seen the true face of liberal tolerance, and it is far more vulgar and vindictive than anyone could have imagined. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.